In the waning hours of the war, Lego made our brothers so perfectly. Beautiful molds, precision detail. If only we'd known something so beautiful could never last. What a time it was. If you don't have this Lego Star Wars Battle Pack, I feel bad for you, because Lego's literally never gonna make one better than this. Don't get me wrong, the Clone vs. Droid Battle Pack is really good, has some great figures, and it's something we've been waiting for for a really long time. But unfortunately, Lego will never make a Battle Pack as perfect as this one. So, let's jump into it. The build here isn't super unique. It's something that we've seen in Battle Packs before, and I'm sure we'll see in Battle Packs again. But this iteration is pretty good of the AV-7 cannon. While the builds in most Battle Packs are kind of throwaways, the cannon in this one actually isn't that bad. The legs are only built with six pieces, but they have really good movement and can move up and down at the toes with ratchets to connect the leg to the body, which helps a lot with posing this thing to make sure that the legs stay where they're supposed to be. It helps you get the perfect angle on each leg, which I absolutely love. Underneath, there's also a translucent round brick, which helps keep the thing stable. It does a great job at keeping this thing up and making sure that during play, it won't fall apart, which is something that we definitely can't say about the newest one. Funny how that works. I guess newer's not always better. The cannon also looks pretty good too. One side is tiled off with a plate, and the other one houses a seat. And of course, you can fit one of the clones on here to pilot the cannon, and it's super easy to plop him in there and put his handlebars right next to him. The clone actually doesn't look that bad in this, can grip the handlebars just fine, and it doesn't look terrible despite it being very micro scale. Unfortunately for me, I have a cracked piece on the left side, but the mechanism they use to actually move the cannon is pretty simple and pretty stable. This is the angle I think it looks best at, but you can literally put it any way you want, and it can move much more than the newest one. The cannon also has one of my favorite play features of all time, flick fire missiles, or push fire, I guess. To be fair, you can still flick it too. The way that they built the cannon actually looks really good for such a small build. We've got these round tire pieces to represent the cylinders, and we even have the gold ammunition on the inside. It doesn't look as movie accurate as the newest one, but it also doesn't look as stupid either, and it works much better. Like being able to move farther and more without breaking off completely. Good job, Lego. So for $12, this cannon is pretty good. And as always, the best part of any Lego Star Wars set is the minifigures, especially this one. These minifigures are seriously amazing, with two clone troopers, including our first and very last ARC trooper, because the ARC trooper 5s looks like trash, and two commando droids, which is a droid we don't see ton of, but it's great to have. Looking at the commando droids, really the only thing here that we have that's a different mold is the head, but I do think it makes sense to use the battle droid body and the super battle droid legs. While I believe these are the color of brittle brown, I haven't noticed any issues with the legs like cracking where the regular super battle droids do, so I don't know if I just haven't used these enough or if the legs are actually not cracking because of the battle droid body. Either way, I love that LEGO goes out of their way with these droids to print a red dot on the chest. And man, that head mold with the printing is so, so detailed. The precision required for this head is extraordinary, especially considering how small it is. This video does not do it justice how tiny these lines are, yet they look so good. From the back, the head mold looks great. It's such an awesomely detailed piece, and I'm so glad that it exists. Why doesn't LEGO try this hard on droids now? Of course, the key to this set are these clone troopers, which look absolutely amazing. Getting an ARC and an ARF trooper in a set may seem kind of strange, especially because this is a battle pack, but these specialized clones are super detailed and definitely deserve to be in here. The only exclusive piece of the ARF trooper is the helmet. Everything else you can find from regular clones, and the ARF trooper has been made in other sets, just this one has different printing. The chest piece is the exact same as the Clone Wars clone, and you can see that from the back as well. The ARF Trooper helmet that I have is printed a little weird on the visor, but everything else looks really good, and they have a bunch of little details in printing here that LEGO would never do today. The side of the helmet has very pristine detailing in the printing that looks so good. I mean, that fox is just incredible. I think it's a fox. It looks like a fox. The back of the helmet has no printing, but it has a really good mold. The star of the show is obviously the ARC Trooper, which is incredible in every single printed detail. The brand new helmet mold that only ever appeared in this one set. It just looks so very good. And of course, they gave us a cloth waist cape and a cloth comma, like they should. This ARC Trooper might be one of the most confusing LEGO Star Wars figures we've ever gotten. It's amazing, and the detail that went into it is awesome, but why did they only ever make it once? And for a $12 set, it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But wow, does it look good. He has a backpack, I think the same one that we get with the new Fives figure, but this one is where it came from first. Of course, it's removable, and it looks pretty good for what it is. It's just a build with three pieces, but I'm glad that they included something unique for this figure. 
You may also notice that the back printing for the Arc Trooper is slightly different than the regular clone. I don't know if they did it on purpose, but it's cool. This clone trooper does something that I don't think a lot of the other ones can. You just put a lot of pieces together to build this figure, but it doesn't look overcrowded or too busy. It just looks so good. And I really wish LEGO would recreate it in the way that people have been asking for, not the way they feel like they can make the most money out of. The helmet mold is completely unique for the ARC Trooper, and removing the visor, you can put an antenna on if you want to. I personally like the visored look better, but with the antenna, you can see a little bit more of the details of the printing within the face, and it just looks really, really good. The red dots, the red line, I mean, everything. The back of the helmet has no printing, but you can tell that this is a brand new mold. So whether you choose antenna or visor, they'll give you both. This battle pack is one of the reasons that I love LEGO Star Wars so much. This may not be the best battle pack for building a huge army of regular clone troopers, but wow, is it amazing for having such fantastic figures in it that are so detailed, that look so good, and one of which we've literally never seen in another set. For whatever reason, I have no idea, because this is one of the best clone trooper molds we have ever seen from LEGO, and prints that we're never going to get again. I absolutely love this set, and there's plenty more content to come, but I would love it if you would join the channel membership to help me out and help you out to give you more exclusive content. I would absolutely love to have you as a member of the channel. Just know that every little bit helps out a ton, but becoming a member will really help me to make the best content for you and give you some exclusive perks that no one else will get. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Is this the best battle pack ever? And do you have the set? If not, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.